Hi, stationary friends, and welcome back to Ginger Peachy Pens. Um, I have my number two Hobonichi unboxing for um, 2024. This is 2023, so it's hard for me to remember to say that it's not for this year. Um, but um, yeah, I want to get into it with you. I wanted to show you that it was still closed up, but I am going to open this, take some things out, and bring the camera down a little bit so you can't see so much of my uh, messy desk. I really need to get organized a little better and we'll get into it. Let me and let's see what's happening here. A little sneak peek. All right, hold on just a minute and we'll go through everything together. So in this order, I mostly got um, cases, drawer pouches, um, things like that. I only have one drawer pouch from Hobonichi. It's this one. And um, I think it's called Field of, Field of Flowers by Aki Kondo. Yes. And um, I, this one, I have been using some in my work bag just to have a few. Um, lately, I've been really loving these. Um, clean color dot markers and I have a um, Figma Micron, a yeah, Hobonichi Judge Dream, you know, just some things like that. I have one little, um, what are these called? Uni One uh, pocket pens, um, some stencils. And over here, I don't have much on this side right now, but a ruler, a little acetate ruler, and this is my um, cream colored um, correction tape that I use in my Hobonichi Weeks. So that is what's in here, and I've been keeping this in my work bag, really enjoying it. Um, you know, from time to time, there are new things that go in and things that come out but I do really like it. So I decided that I wanted to get into the drawer pouches a little more. And the first one that I picked was this small size. And I'm sorry, I'm not making a, a no packaging version of this video, bear with me. Um, let's, let's pull this off. Look how pretty. So everyone loved this Aurora Duty Weeks last year. And this year they had the, they have the, um, the pencil board, the A6 pencil board that matches. And when I saw this, I just thought how pretty, um, I'm not afraid of glitter. <laughs> and I did see someone talking about this on uh, one of the Facebook groups who said that this glitter, you know, they had not had problems with it coming off and like nothing is coming off on my fingers. It feels a little bit tacky almost. Um, and that glitter is not coming off so far. So I imagine that over years, you know, probably you'll lose some of that glitter, but, um, it seems pretty good so far. This fabric is like a nylon fabric, um, different from this one, which feels more like a cotton canvas. I've got a stain on there that I just noticed. Um, Ooh, look at the inside is this blue, a little bit brighter blue mesh. So, um, and you can see how the pockets are laid out here, the little smile pocket, the tall pocket, and the zipper over here. Good smooth, smooth zipper. There are three elastics on this side. Um, I've seen some people talk about how these are not always practical for everything. Like someone was trying to fit some really long colored pencils into this side and the way that this this zipper pouch opens you know you can see that it doesn't open all the way to the top or the bottom so it can be a little awkward to get some things in and out I do kind of wish that was a different zipper but I think you know if you use it right um, that it can work really well I'm actually going to put this back in here for right now so that's the first one um, this one I got with, um, sort of with work in mind. Um, this is the drawer pouch on a, 
so it's a little bit different. I really like this. I'm not always a plaid. It's not exactly plaid, but I'm not always like a things with squares kind of person. I don't love checkerboard. I don't always love plaid, but I don't know. I liked these colors a lot. This green and blue and pink. It feels a little bit um, more grown up. I don't know. And then the inside, the inside has this beautiful coral pink. So this is the drawer pouch on a, like I said, um, this one fits from what I've seen. I've never had one myself before. I hope it needs you weeks really easily. You could fit plenty of, um, you know, stickers or, um, scissors and little tools in here. So my thought was kind of to be able to use this, um, to, to, to carry some stickers, to put in some scissors, to put in, um, you know, all sorts of things. You can sort your like individual stickers into these card slots. Yeah, I thought this would be really nice. I also think I'm going to experiment with this with putting in my work laptop charger. It's kind of flat, like the brick is kind of flat to fit that in here and my mouse and some things that I carry back and forth from work. I thought that this could be a really good pouch for so um, I'm kind of excited to try it out. You know, I, I've got like a, an external hard drive, things like that. So I might try to make this sort of a little tech pouch. So then the next item is another Ane because I fell in love with these cats <laughs> and got a couple of sizes. <laughs> so. Um, this is the another drawer pouch on a it's gonna be the same layout I think the interior well let me show you first these cats have 3d whiskers and I just think they're cute I don't have a cat I have a dog but I like cats I mean you know I, I've never owned a cat but I I like them <laughs> and I loved this blue it feels a little bit like I don't know. It's like professional yet whimsical or something. That's not a good description, but the um, zipper is gold, which I like. And the inside is pink. So look how cute the inside is. I think it's a more bubblegum pink than this one might be a little more corally, but um, that same layout. Um, yeah, I thought this would be a fun one to, um, to travel with, to you know, take some things when I'm going to visit family. Um, so yeah, I think this one is a little heavier. This material is thicker and it's a little bit heavier than this, than this one. This, this one is not nylon. This one is more cottony. Like it's a fine cotton. I assume cotton, um, but that's what it feels like to me. Whereas this one feels more like a canvas. This one is definitely nylon, like almost umbrella <laughs> material and this one is almost it's not denim but it's um it's a I don't know someone else I'm sure can tell me the terminology but it's almost a chambray kind of feeling material maybe it's cotton but it's also different from both of these other more cotton ones so Interesting. I love that they use different materials in all their different products. So again, this will fit a Weeks right inside of it. Um, I think the Weeks also fits in the small. I'm sorry, I'm backtracking. Oh, you know what? No, it doesn't. Um, even without the cover on cover, I now remember. It doesn't, but it does. Oh, look how cute. Without the cover on cover, I have seen people slide this into this back pocket. I think. You know, don't quote me on it, and I'm not going to test it at this moment. Um, <laughs> forgive me. Maybe not. Don't count on being able to put a week into one of those small ones. But the Ane, yes. Okay, let me move these. So, in the theme of the cats, this is the large drawer pouch. So you can see the size difference here between the two. And then here's the small on top. I know that 
putting them on top is not the exact, it's not the best uh, way to show you. But um, my space is limited here, so. So this one, my purpose is, um, I would like to carry this um, to church with my Bible in it. Put my Bible in there. Um, I always have a notebook and a pen and I get, you know, sometimes some papers that I can stick in there. I could even, if I wanted to, not bring a purse and put, you know, like chapstick or throw my keys in here. This was just my thought for this. It is a good little medium size item to carry. Um, I don't think it will necessarily fit. So this cover on co this cover is larger than most A5 covers. But look, this almost completely fits in there. In fact, I could zip it if I kind of tuck in these um, tabs. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I would probably not because it fills it up pretty full. I mean, you could fit some things in here. But, um, but to give you a size, this is kind of made for the A5. If you were to put a cousin in here without a cover on it, um, you'd have lots and lots of room. So I really do think it'll fit my Bible and, um, and my notebook and pens and things like that. So yeah, I really like this. I'm excited about it. Got two little cat chins right at the top here. <laughs> oh, and I haven't even shown pockets. So this one has a nice big pocket on the outside. That's great for just slipping your, I could slip my phone in there. Like I said, if I didn't, you know, left my purse at home or whatnot. Um, here it is with a weeks, weeks, you know, hides in there really easily. And I have an A6, sorry, an A6 that would certainly fit inside, you know, any part of this very easily. Um, let's see the Ane. Ani has an outside pocket. I didn't show that. Yeah, both of them do. And then, yeah, I showed you the pocket on the small. So, then, this I was actually just really curious about. The Stapo. Man. This is even, this is smaller than I expected. I mean, I knew it was small. Everyone says that, but I could not picture it. And I just decided I've got to get one of these in hand. And as long as they have the bunny bow and tie, um, I, I wanted to go ahead and get it now and not wait. Cause I don't know how long, you know, they'll keep making the bow and tie bunnies. I loved having this week's, I'm still enjoying it this week's all year this year with the bunnies. I really really think it's cute so this is something i can use you know forever with the bunnies um so velcro this is i felt like there was going to be something in there but there's nothing in there let's see if i can bring this up a smidge there's nothing in there it is um, rigid in the corners and on the sides like that's really got some structure to it the back flap folds back and I just recently saw someone, saw someone do this and you can snap it to make it sit back and use this on a desktop. I'm sorry if I'm if I've gone out of frame. So I snapped it right there if you didn't see that. And then from what I understand, you can fit a cousin in here without the cover, but with a with a cover, oh, I mean look, that goes in, but I don't think you would be able to close it well. I need to raise this up some more. Yeah, you can't close that. I mean, this it seems silly anyway, because it fills it up. But with um, a cousin just without a cover, will stand in here, and then you have room for scissors, for markers, for um, all sorts of things. This is tall enough. Let's see if this is tall enough for Tombos. Not quite to stand up your tombos, but they can lay down in there. And certainly normal sized pens 
will stand up. This, like I said, I just really was curious about it. I'm not 100% positive yet what my use case is for this. Um, again, it might be good for traveling, not for like airplane travel necessarily, but for getting in the car and go into family's house and that kind of thing. This might be a good thing to put some supplies in and take with me. I really don't know. Honestly, this was one of those things that I purchased it without a plan. It's not super expensive, um, really, for what you get. I felt like it's, I think, what was it, maybe $26? So, um, you know, and again, the resale market for things from Hobonichi directly, you know, you can usually make your money back at least because the price from Hobonichi is so much less than what the U.S. retailers charge that um, you can make your money back pretty easily. So, but I'm not saying I'm selling it. I think I'm going to try, I'm going to, I'm going to use it. I'm going to give it some time. Like I'm not, didn't buy anything here to turn around and sell it immediately. So, all right. The last, but not last but not least, I got one of the small boxes. Oh, how fun. Truly, I actually don't remember what else I got. So, and I intentionally did not go and look at my order today. Oh, this little box is so cute. Okay, so I might let go of the bigger one just for space's sake of space's sake. And, oh yeah. Okay. So let me pull these things out. Out. All right, so I am not going to probably unpackage these at the moment, but I got a couple of the Hobonichi stencils. I've been using some letter stencils lately, and I thought that I would enjoy um, some of the other, you know, shapes and things. These have some little numbers. It has this little squiggly line. I know this is probably hard to see because it's yellow, but... Um, yeah, I think I will enjoy this. This is small. It'll slide right into the weeks. This one has some like speech bubbles and um, emphasis, you know, kind of things. Um, I really liked these little stars here, which I mean, I can obviously draw without a stencil, but I like the little cloud, the little thought bubble. Um, this was the one that was like, eh, I, you know, I could do or do without, but I decided to go ahead and get it because I thought it was cute. And then this one is the like standard, standard one, has numbers, it has hearts and stars. This has the little check boxes that fit in the grids of the weeks and dotted lines. Um, so this is one that, you know, is sort of the most useful, so to speak. Yep, I think I'm gonna enjoy those. This will go in the pockets of my weeks. Um, I got some of these PETA <laughs> uh, clear, they're called speech bubbles on the website, I think, but um, I don't necessarily need to use them as speech bubbles. I was thinking more for sticky notes in my, uh, in my weeks because there are a lot of things that I like to write on a sticky note before I put it down permanently. So let's see where they, how can you peel it up? Oh, interesting. So the back has almost like sticky dots on it. And um, it's not extremely sticky. Interesting. Can you see the sticky dots stuck to my finger? <laughs> Interesting. So yeah, those will stick right in. And the, it doesn't seem like something that will damage the paper in my planner. So maybe now you can see all the little dots. Can you see those? Are like little glue dots or little sticky dots. So it's not like a post-it note type glue, it is little dots. And then these are the same, I think it says clear, so 
I assume these are translucent. Um, I actually didn't notice that, that they were clear when I ordered them. These were sort of extra additions to that order. Oh, and with this one, I can see where the side is that you peel up from. So this is obviously darker, but um, peels up right the same. It's got those little sticky dots on the back. And I think I will enjoy those because I like to have something I can stick in and take out um, when something becomes permanent. Um, and then finally, here is a another Hobonichi pin. And the bow and tie cat's weeks. Um, so I don't have a solid plan for this week's at the moment. Part of me just wanted to, real, to see it in person. Um, oh, it's soft. I guess my bunny one is the same. But look at these cute cats. This one's got a great placement. Look at this little cat sitting next to the 2024 and the ball of yarn. I also had the thought um, that this is the last year that the Weeks uses the old Tomoe River paper. And the spine of 2024 is right on the cat. But then at the bottom, look, there's one peeking up. How <laughs> cute. <laughs> um, that, yeah, the, the Weeks uses the old Tomoe River paper. And so... <sighs> to have a spare around of the old TRP um, is not a bad thing. So this feels really good. I've it, it, It's the same as the rabbit one from last year, which is what has been my daily planner. But um, yeah. And so yeah, that's it from that order. I will also show you um, the day or two after I placed my initial Hobonichi order from Hobonichi, I realized what I was missing or what I wish I had gotten, wished I had gotten. And so I placed a quick little order from Drawn Ghouls. I was hesitant because I know that the U.S. markup is a good bit, but um, I grabbed the Panda pencil board because I really like the Panda designs, but I didn't need more covers and things so I just got the pencil board it's a cheap you know easy way to enjoy the designs um, that, that come out then this is the um, Hiroko Kubota design this year with the giraffe um, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't pay attention that the the design that's on the cover on the cover doesn't wrap around design that wraps around the back of the cover doesn't wrap around the back of this. So that's a little disappointment, but I still just, you know, was one that was like, well, I don't want to wish I had gotten it and not, not have gotten it. Um, I added some foil transfer stickers into this order to get it to the free shipping threshold. I've never used these before. These are not Hobonichi. These are another brand, Midori. These are Midori transfer stickers. And I just liked these little stars. Um, it was kind of a bonus and <laughs> and I also got the Hiroko Kubota Another Night of Falling Star Sparklers weeks. because last year I did not get the Aurora Duty weeks and I was regretting it wholeheartedly and finally found one for a reasonable price much later in the year. Um, this is so cute. Look at the little sparklers. They just, you know, color shift. Um, I'm wondering why they didn't put the color shift into the 2024 like they did the 2023. But um, that's okay. It's, it's in black um, debossing. And then the little fox sitting on the the string of stars on the back. This little town. I just thought that this was so cute and didn't want to miss out. This was kind of a FOMO purchase. But I have been using this one this year as kind of a pen and ink log. And um, throwing in some video ideas and all kinds of things. So my thought is that I want to really start 
doing a better job at planning out my videos because um, I right now I kind of wing it like I kind of just get to the beginning of the week and think what do I want to film this week but I think it would be good for me to kind of plan them plan some things out you know if I want to do anything as a series I can make sure that I'm doing it on a consistent basis and schedule things out every four weeks or six weeks or two months or or whatnot and um and then be able to throw in all my ideas and thoughts and every week I could use, you know, the week to take my notes for the video. And at the end of the year, I would have a really good little log of everything that I did. So that's my plan for this one. I love that this comes with a little card with the design on it. I feel like I'm going to keep that. <laughs> so I know this seems like overkill. The cat one, the cat weeks is the only one and then the bow and tie stoppo that I'm like, I'm not really sure what I'm going to use this for yet, but that's okay because, um, you know, this is just, I really, really love Hobonichi items. It's stuff that I use all year and, you know, I get partway through a year and I go, oh, I really wish I had a notebook of this size to do this thing with. And it's good to just have it in my collection ready to go. Um, I have used up every old Hobonichi planner that I had. Um, you know, I go back and just fill in pages with doodles or with notes. I use them, you know, I use them up for the most part. So this does not feel, I know I don't have to justify this to y'all. If you're watching this, you probably have placed your own Hobonichi orders. And so, um, I know I don't have to, but I'm just, I'm just sharing that this is something I enjoy so much. So anyway, I don't know why I repackaged these up just now uh, for the end of the video, but I did. <laughs> um, so here's this number two um, Hobonichi order. I, um, I'm really excited to start using these things. I came in and unboxed this within half an hour of receiving it so that I can put them to use today because I am ready. I have my ideas. I'm ready to start putting things in these and making use of them for work and for play and for everything else. So um, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. And um, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll like and subscribe to my channel. Um, there will be lots of more of uh, regular fountain pen and ink content um, coming soon. So hang with me if Hobonichi is not your thing. But um, yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Have a great day.